Good morning. This is our orientation on the on the job training or the practicum program of College of Business Entrepreneurship and Accountancy of La Consolacion University, Philippines. This is part of your curriculum and this is one of the prerequisites in order for you to apply for graduation acquiring the degree of Bachelor of Science in Accountancy and Bachelor of Science in Accounting Technology. So here are the objectives of this practicum program. Number one, we want to make you familiar with the actual work environment which is entirely different from the classroom setting because what we are discussing in the classroom inside the classroom are just concepts theories and some practical problems in accounting but what is actually happening in the office what is actually happening in the corporate environment cannot be felt inside the classroom. The objective of our program is to make the students familiar and be work-oriented before reaching the graduation uh, ceremonies. We want you to be uh, office-oriented working oriented and the objective the ultimate objective actually is for you to face the challenges of the corporate and business world the number two objective is to create new learnings which would eventually prepare students when they enter the corporate world what are these new learnings we are referring to the uh, office procedures. We are referring, aside from the office procedures, we are referring to the usual practices inside the office which cannot be seen in the classroom discussions. To be familiarized with office procedures, we want you to know or have an in-depth knowledge of the protocol inside the office what do you mean by that protocol you have to observe courtesy for your superiors you have to uh, observe uh, proper decorum obedience with the superior being courteous the point here is for you to have a positive attitude towards your work. To have an actual experience of employer-employee relationship. That employer-employee em relationship cannot be learned inside the classroom. Meaning you have to respect the owners of the business. My actual experience is that uh, there are some instances that I don't like the policies being implemented by my company. But whether I like it or not, I have to abide with their policies because they are the ones giving me the bread and butter. So we have to respect everybody inside the office. Number five, this is one of the most important to develop interpersonal skills which is vital in organizational behavior. What do you mean by interpersonal skills? You must know how to get along with other people. Sa Tagalog, we call it simply pakikisama. You must know how to deal with different personalities with other people you just imagine when you started working every day you will deal with the people which actually you don't like that is the reality inside the office 
most of the time your superior and your co-employees are not in good terms with, with each other you are not in good terms with your office mates and with your superior most of the time i'm not saying that uh, it is all the time most of the time there are some conflicts inside the office environment and that is the time for you to exercise good interpersonal skills we are not talking here of academic performance we are not talking here of intelligence we are talking what we are we, we want to emphasize here is for you to have a positive attitude towards towards works it is most it, it is one of the most important skill that you must learn interpersonal skills so we have to discuss the requirements for employment since all of you are graduating students as uh, as early as today you must be prepared with the requirements for employment of course you have to prepare a comprehensive resume uh, i attended one seminar regarding preparation of comprehensive resume and the speaker emphasized that today the long and so many pages resume are no longer applicable according to the speaker maximum of three pages resume will do as long as you indicated the most significant accomplishments and the most significant qualifications uh, the speaker also remind us during that seminar that uh, you, you you are not supposed to put the character references in your resume you may indicate character references available upon request and that is the latest about the preparation of your comprehensive resume next you must have the taxpayers identification number this is one of the prerequisites before you will be hired you must have your own tin or team taxpayers identification number all you have to do is to go to the nearest office of the bureau of internal revenue i do not know if tin is being applied online right now but you can verify in the website of bir on how to apply for the taxpayers identification number so you have to apply for your sss number if you plan to work in a private company you must have this <coughs> sss number next you must have your pill health number this is a prerequisite mandatory because without pill health membership you cannot get the benefits in times of sickness number five of course the pag-ibig number you must be a member of the pag-ibig this is one of the benefits and then if you plan to work in the government you have to get your gsis number Take note, SSS is applicable to private companies while GSIS is applicable if you are working in the government. And transcript of records. Since some of you, after graduation, the transcript of records are not yet available. You may present the certificate of graduation or the certificate of grades. Some employers are accepting all those documents in lieu of the transcript of records. If you are a certified public accountant, be ready for the results of your CPA licensure examination. If you have some certificate 
uh, like a certified bookkeeper, certified accounting technician, be ready for those documents. So all of you are student interns. So if to become a student intern, the number one requirement is that you must be officially enrolled in Sibeya internship program in summer of 2020 which will end on August 30, 2020. If you are not officially enrolled, you are not supposed to uh, involve in any practicum activities. Number two, students shall abide by the guidance and course requirements set forth by the department. You are uh, required to submit the required reports. You are required to submit your accomplishment. And at the end of the summer period, you have to submit your final OJT report. Number three, the student trainee should always observe discipline and right conduct. This is what I have explained a while ago regarding protocol, work attitude, and interpersonal relationship. Number four, the student trainee X is expected to submit reports on time. This is one of the vital expectations from you as student interns because when we say punctuality we are also referring to the submission of reports on time and these are the possible coverage of on-the-job training for BSA and BSAT students number one online auditing since you are uh, working in an accounting and auditing firm your uh, our industry partner will give you the task of online auditing online preparation of income tax returns and other bir forms as early as today you must learn the online preparation of these forms required by the bureau of internal revenue number three online bookkeeping services some uh, uh, accounting and auditing firm are conducting this online bookkeeping services. I think they have their own accounting software so that the online bookkeeping services can be done even though you are not present in the office. Number four, other duties and responsibilities that may be assigned from time to time by the industry partner because the industry partner was given uh, liberty to assign you or to give other tasks as long as it is related to your duties and responsibilities. So this ends our orientation. Don't forget to submit the required reports for this week. You are uh, tasked to submit weekly report every Friday. So thank you and good morning.